upon the Trinity Infinity creation. <laughs> Cause I um I kept looking and looking, I just keep looking at things. Cause if you think about it, you gotta keep evolving, you gotta keep evolving the examination according to the chart. And so really, if you think about it, I'm only on this video. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of funny. You know, because if I look at it again, I want to make another one after this one. But this one is going to focus on uh, the, uh, the, not the Mayan nine steps of, you know, creation or whatever you want to call it. There's plenty more to point out, believe it or not. Like... I'm gonna jump right back to the uh, first example I used in the first video of cells because that's basically where where the whole deal starts to begin with anyway to source the content that I'm gonna put on the board here I have to give credit to uh, Ian Mungold this this is based on um his interpretation of the Mayan 13 back tune and the nine steps is it nine steps right one two, yeah, it's the nine steps man that's again my nine steps so you have the thir 13 to to yeah <laughs> to recap the last two videos we have 13 Fibonacci numbers we have nine steps of the Fibonacci and now I'm gonna go right back to how I used the example of a cell in my first video to explain that and I'm gonna show you how nine steps can be applied to these shapes this will be kind of profound by the end in another another way that's why I'm making this video because this is <sighs> I think people need to see it in order to believe it and so what do we have 16 billion years ago right cells 16 billion years ago cells right Cells. Right, and then after that, 820 million years ago, mammals came along. Right, so mammals. I'm gonna roll quick. Uh, 41 million years ago families appeared which makes sense when we're talking about trinities All right family I go family okay these are the nine steps to uh it's the whole Mayan it's the Mayan cycle man it has to do with 2012 the next one, after that, makes perfect sense too, now that I look at it, because I haven't really thought about this, I just noticed how everything freaking aligns up, everything aligns up to these, this freaking chart, man. So, what's the next one? Two million years ago. Right. Tribal. Yeah. Tribes. Right. What's number five on the list? This one caught my eye because, again, the fifth step, the five-pointed star, like uh, like here. On the fifth day, our solar system was born. Here. Okay. So again, the number five. Um, 41 million years ago in family 
on the fifth day, tailless monkeys appeared. I guess that could be speculation, but this is, again, like I said, according to Ian Lungold. These are my notes that I took while I watched his lectures over and over and over and over. Just to make sure that I understood it and I got it right. Um, there's another five somewhere. On the fifth day, we discovered fire, I thought, somewhere. On here, yeah. Two million years ago in tribal. On the fifth day, fire was found. Right. So, during the fifth, there is no fifth day for here. This is the, the birth of art, actually. It's culture. A hundred thousand years ago. Uh, well, a hundred and two thousand years ago. Culture. Uh, let's see, after culture was 3115 B.C. Nations. Alright, six-pointed star, nations. Then we're jumping up to planets in 1755 planets again planets from the last video there was seven original planets in ancient times and now here I am writing planets under the seven-pointed star planets um <laughs> wow like I said, I didn't go through this yet. I just noticed that it would all line up. And so you're seeing it for the first time. I, I haven't checked it out yet. The next one comes up to... I don't like to be as precise. I don't... You know, these, these guys with their dates, like even the Mayans. <laughs> I'm not going to say what day, I'll say 1999, sure, but, and it's, it's galactic. Right, so galactic goes here. And then after that, that's the eighth step. The ninth step, according to Ian Munghold, began February 10th 2011 I just think it's weird that it's 2011 and it's a universal so universe again here I am putting the word universe on the number nine universe right <laughs> Let's everybody soak that in a little bit. <laughs> wow, man. That's, uh, that's something else, huh? Huh. The evil culture of 13. <laughs> That's something else right there, man. Wow. And so, what could I show next, I guess? You know what else he... What I didn't show here, I kind of don't really have room to... to write it. I guess maybe I'm on the bottom. How we have, uh... the 13 Fibonacci numbers, right? Go ahead.
seven days and six nights. And that's what I was talking about before. On the fifth day, we found fire. On the fifth day, tailless monkeys were formed. On the fifth day, here, our solar system was created. That's all according to Ian Mungle. He emphasizes this fifth day scenario here. Uh, what else do we got? I can ex I can explain it. We got uh, we got this is action reaction stage, and from there it splits. It goes to mammals, which is stimulus reaction. From the mammals, we evolved to families, which is stimulus independent reaction. Then we move to tribes, which is similarities and differences. And then we move to cultures, which is the age of art, right? Yeah, art and reason are born here. Art and reason are born in the center. So creativity and logic and reason are born in the center here. <sighs> um, the next one is when writing began and law. That's when we started making laws and, and nations. And then we went to planets, which is where we gained power, because this is um, 1755. This is 1755. This is 3115 BC. So, in 1755, we harnessed tons of power, and so it kind of goes with it, the, the Industrial Revolution. Um, in 1999, galactic is the World Wide Web and ethics he's got down here. And he, I remember in the video he brought up Y2K and how everybody was questioning a lot of things in 1999 when we made this step to the ninth step, the step here which is the universal step, the conscious co-creation step, which I think his scales are a little off, but, and I also don't think that it's going to snap like, uh, like the analogy of holding the ball down under the water when you let off socks spring into our natural state like, I don't, I don't really see it like that. We got to go this process may speed up, but it's still got to follow the process. The 1 through 13 on the bottom, you, you can see seven green numbers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 days. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 nights. And so it's all biblical when you look at it that way. 7 days and 6 nights. It's 13 numbers. 13 in, in there, and then the nine steps, and this is all in relation to the Mayan, the Mayan belief, and with that, I'm going to run out and take off, <laughs> I'll keep it short, if you don't understand the, uh, the whole f full meaning of this, I suggest watching the other Trinity Infinity videos if this is the first one that you're seeing. Other than that, I'd have to say thanks to everybody who's been watching these videos and thanks for the feedback. And thank you, Blazing Researcher, for uh, supplying me with the whiteboard. <laughs> and uh, I'll catch everybody later. Till next time. Peace, love, and gratitude. Namaste to all of you.